from Maryland, Dragon Fruit Gardens. And we're back on the farm because we're gonna apply active good bacteria. So let's go. One pail. Okay. Look guys, this is a royal red variety. That's how it looks like at night. Look. <laughs> and you can see the different insects flying. But they're not harmful insects. And just before we apply the active good bacteria, we need to make sure that the soil is moist. So it's it just rained yesterday and the whole day we have gray skies. So we're good to go. This will be our first time to apply it and we will repeat the process every 10 days. Look, we're not gonna do foliar today. We just need to make sure that we have it applied on the soil. And I'm here documenting the process. But it, it, it seems like we don't have flowers tonight. Hmm? na padre ay si ginida ba ganida wala pa oh nag street na unsa man ka oy 
Masaad na po, masaad ta. Mabuta ka dito niya dali wala pa. Tagbaw na tagtutuyok. Guys, this is Marianne from Maryland Dragon Fruit Gardens. I'm the lady owner of Maryland. Tonight, I would like to share something about the organic fertilizer that we were using earlier. And let me just show you this. Um, this is CHC Agritech Farmer's Friend and this uses Japanese technology so I, wa I would like to just read what's on the label this is an all-natural combination of effective and beneficial microorganisms that delivers dramatic impact and sets new standard standards in agriculture management it accelerates growth on plants, improves root development, it improves soil structure, improves yields, soil rejuvenator, and acid neutralizer, and it reduces chemical input. And it's best for rice, corn, fruit bearing trees, and that includes dragon fruit, vegetables, and high valued crops. So we were instructed by, by our pathologist that we will have to activate around 250 grams of uh, water. I know, 250 grams of this. And uh, dissolve it on around 200 liters of water. So on our first application, we just make sure that the, the, the soil is wet. So what we did is basal application. So we will repeat that 10 days after yesterday. So we just did it yesterday. And just want to show you how it's, it looks like. So basically, it microbes are sleeping on the rice bran, this one. So good microbes are sleeping in here. There, we call them beneficial microbes. Okay. So this is actually a powdered rice bran. So in order for us to activate the good or beneficial microbes from this, we need to soak this on water because they are water loving microbes. So what we did, we just got like a pail, like a small pail and just dissolve around 250 grams. It was just an estimate of 250 grams of this to the water. And then I added it on the 200 liters of water. So I was actually using a barrel and a big pail. And we need to make sure to, that it's six, it's, we use we use that after six to to after six hours of activation then i remember if um right that's around 1 p.m i arrive in the farm at 1 1 p.m and then we went back at 7 30 p.m just to make sure that the mixture or the active microbes were applied already on on the plants so this is a one kilo this is a one kilo chc 
Agritech Farmer's Friend Organic Solution. So they also have 500 grams and this one, this is, this is the 100 grams. So you can also try it on your vegetables and make sure that if you're going to use this, use uh, rainwater or water from the well and chlorinated water because chlorine will kill good bacteria. So that's a tip for me. We will be using this uh, yeah, starting yesterday and we'll see what will be the effect on the plants in the next 10, 10 days. So we, we need uh, like two application before we can see the, the, the improvement. And our target is to minimize those sick those um and branches infected with anthracnose because we usually that's this we usually have like around two two pails of pruned branches every time we do fungicide and it's not good 